When it comes to exploring the world's greatest cities, few destinations can compare to the timeless charm and rich history of Rome. Home to some of the world's most iconic landmarks and cultural treasures, this city offers a unique blend of ancient wonders and modern sophistication that is sure to captivate any traveler. In this comprehensive guide, we'll take a deep dive into the city's storied past and explore its vibrant present, showcasing everything from its world-renowned architecture and art to its delicious cuisine and vibrant festivals. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time visitor, this guide will provide you with everything you need to know to make the most of your time in this unforgettable city. Join us on a journey through time and discover why Rome is considered one of the greatest cities in the world, and why it should be at the top of your travel bucket list. Rome is a city that is steeped in culture, art, and architecture, and is home to some of the world's most famous landmarks and historical sites. This statement is supported by the fact that Rome has a rich history dating back thousands of years, and has been a center of power and influence for much of that time. Rome is considered one of the greatest cities in the world because of its numerous historical landmarks, including the Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Roman Forum, and Vatican City, which houses St. Peter's Basilica and the Sistine Chapel. These landmarks are not only impressive in terms of their architecture and design, but they also serve as a testament to the city's cultural and historical significance. Additionally, Rome is known for its art and culture, as evidenced by its museums and galleries, such as the Vatican Museums, the Galleria Borghese, and the MAXXI Museum. Rome's cuisine is also world-famous, with dishes such as pizza, pasta, and gelato being popular favorites. It is a city that is always buzzing with events and festivals, showcasing its vibrant culture and celebrating its rich history. All these factors contribute to why Rome is considered one of the greatest cities in the world, making it a must-visit destination for anyone looking to explore history, culture, and beauty. Rome's history is as fascinating as it is long. Founded in 753 BC, the city served as the center of the Roman Empire, which at its peak, spanned across three continents. Over the centuries, Rome has seen the rise and fall of empires, survived wars and invasions, and witnessed the birth of some of the world's most significant cultural movements. Throughout its history, Rome has been a seat of power and influence, with its leaders and armies expanding their reach across Europe and beyond. The city was home to some of the most celebrated leaders in history, including Julius Caesar, Augustus, and Constantine. Their legacies can still be seen in the city's ancient ruins and architectural marvels, such as the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Pantheon. Despite facing numerous challenges, including invasions by barbarian tribes and the destruction wrought by the Black Plague, Rome managed to survive and thrive, emerging as a cultural and artistic powerhouse during the Renaissance. This period saw the creation of some of the most iconic works of art and architecture in the world, including Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel and the magnificent St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. Today, Rome remains a city that is steeped in history and culture, attracting millions of visitors from around the world each year. Its storied past and vibrant present make it a must-visit destination for anyone looking to explore the world's greatest cities. Rome's importance in Western civilization cannot be overstated. As one of the oldest and most influential cities in the world, Rome has had a profound impact on the development of Western culture and society. Throughout history, Rome has been a center of power and influence, with its armies and leaders shaping the course of history in Europe and beyond. The Roman Empire left a lasting legacy on Western civilization, including its legal system, language, and architecture. Rome is also the spiritual center of Christianity, with Vatican City serving as the home of the Catholic Church and the Pope. The city's religious significance is further evidenced by its numerous churches, basilicas, and other religious sites, including the iconic St. Peter's Basilica. In addition to its religious and political significance, Rome has also played a crucial role in the development of art and culture. The city was a hub of creativity during the Renaissance, with artists such as Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci creating some of the most iconic works of art in history. Rome's impact on Western civilization can still be seen in the art, architecture, and culture of cities throughout Europe and the world. Its rich history and cultural significance make it a must-visit destination for anyone interested in exploring the roots of Western civilization. Location and Climate Rome is located in central Italy, along the banks of the Tiber River. It is the capital city of Italy and is situated in the Lazio region. The city is located approximately 24 kilometers inland from the Tyrrhenian Sea, 
and its location has played a significant role in its history and development. The city of Rome is surrounded by hills, including the Palatine, Aventine, and Capitoline Hills. The seven hills of Rome have played an important role in the city's development, with many of the city's ancient landmarks, including the Roman Forum and the Colosseum, located on or near these hills. Rome enjoys a Mediterranean climate, characterized by hot summers and mild winters. The city experiences an average temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius, with temperatures reaching as high as 30 degrees Celsius during the summer months of July and August. The winters in Rome are mild, with temperatures rarely dropping below freezing. The city is well connected to the rest of Italy and Europe, with its two airports, Fiumicino Airport and Ciampino Airport, serving as major transportation hubs. Additionally, Rome's central location in Italy makes it an ideal base for exploring other parts of the country, including the nearby regions of Tuscany and Umbria. Rome's central location and Mediterranean climate make it an ideal destination for travelers looking to explore the rich history, culture, and natural beauty of Italy. Rome enjoys a Mediterranean climate, which means hot, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. The city experiences an average temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius, with temperatures reaching as high as 30 degrees Celsius during the summer months of July and August. The winters in Rome are mild, with temperatures rarely dropping below freezing. The best time to visit Rome is during the spring and fall seasons, when the temperatures are mild, and the crowds are smaller. From April to June and from September to November, the weather is pleasant, with temperatures ranging from 15 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. These seasons are also a great time to explore the city's many outdoor attractions, such as the Roman Forum and the Vatican Gardens, without having to contend with the summer crowds. Summer is peak tourist season in Rome, and the city can be crowded and hot. However, if you do plan to visit during the summer, there are several ways to beat the heat. Many of the city's historic sites, such as the Colosseum and the Roman Forum, offer early morning and evening tours, which allow visitors to avoid the midday heat. Additionally, Rome is known for its many beautiful fountains and parks, which provide a welcome respite from the summer heat. Winter in Rome is mild but can be rainy. However, the city is less crowded during this time, and many of the popular attractions, such as the Vatican Museums and the Sistine Chapel, are less busy. Plus, if you're lucky, you may even get to see the city dusted in a light layer of snow, which can make for a beautiful sight. Rome is a year-round destination, but the best time to visit depends on your preferences and what you want to see and do. Spring and fall are generally considered the best seasons, but with proper planning, you can enjoy Rome's many attractions and charms during any time of the year. Rome is well connected to the rest of Italy and Europe, with several transportation options available for visitors. Air travel is the most common way to get to Rome, with two major airports serving the city, Fiumicino Airport and Ciampino Airport. Fiumicino is the larger of the two airports and is the main hub for international flights. Ciampino Airport serves mostly budget airlines and is located about 15 kilometers from the city center. Once you arrive in Rome, there are several ways to get around the city. Rome's public transportation system includes buses, trams, and metro lines. The metro system has three lines, A, B, and C, which cover much of the city. Buses and trams are also an efficient way to get around, with many routes covering popular tourist destinations. Taxis are also widely available in Rome, but they can be expensive, especially if you're traveling during peak hours or need to go a long distance. It's always a good idea to agree on a price with the driver before you get in the taxi to avoid any surprises. If you prefer to explore the city on foot or by bike, there are several options available. Rome's historic center is relatively compact, and many of the city's top attractions are within walking distance of each other. There are also several companies that offer bike rentals and guided bike tours of the city. Another popular way to get around Rome is by Vespa, the iconic Italian scooter. Many companies offer Vespa rentals and guided tours, which allow visitors to see the city from a unique perspective. The city offers a variety of transportation options to suit every budget and travel style. Whether you prefer to explore the city by public transport, on foot, or by scooter, there are plenty of ways to get around and see the sights. Historical Landmarks Rome is a city steeped in history, with a rich cultural heritage that spans over 2,000 years. The city is home to some of the world's most famous historical landmarks, including ancient ruins, medieval churches, and Renaissance palaces. 
The Colosseum is one of Rome's most iconic landmarks, and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. Built over 2,000 years ago, the Colosseum was the largest amphitheater ever built, and could seat up to 50,000 spectators. Today, visitors can explore the Colosseum and learn about the gladiatorial games and other events that took place there. The Roman Forum is another must-see historical landmark in Rome. Once the political and commercial center of ancient Rome, the Forum is now a sprawling archaeological site that includes ruins of temples, government buildings, and public squares. Highlights of the Forum include the Temple of Saturn, the Arch of Titus, and the House of the Vestal Virgins. The Pantheon is one of the best-preserved ancient buildings in Rome, and a testament to the architectural achievements of the Roman Empire. Originally built as a temple to all the gods, the Pantheon has survived almost 2,000 years of wars, earthquakes, and fires, and remains one of the most impressive sites in the city. The Vatican City is a small, independent city-state located within the city of Rome, and home to some of the world's most famous historical landmarks. Highlights of the Vatican include St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican Museums, which contain some of the most important art collections in the world. Other notable historical landmarks in Rome include the Spanish Steps, the Trevi Fountain, and the Castel Sant'Angelo. Each of these landmarks has its own unique history and cultural significance, and is well worth a visit for anyone interested in the history and culture of Rome. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is one of the most iconic landmarks in Rome. Built in 80 AD, the Colosseum was the largest amphitheater ever built, and could seat up to 50,000 spectators. It was used for gladiatorial games, mock sea battles, and other public spectacles. Today, visitors can explore the Colosseum and learn about the fascinating history of this ancient monument. To make the most of your visit to the Colosseum, consider purchasing a Skip the Line ticket in advance to avoid long queues. Audio guides and guided tours are also available and can provide valuable insight into the history of the Colosseum. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes, as the site involves a lot of walking on uneven surfaces. The Pantheon is one of the best-preserved ancient buildings in Rome, and a true architectural masterpiece. Originally built as a temple to all the gods, the Pantheon has survived almost 2,000 years of wars, earthquakes, and fires, and remains one of the most impressive sites in the city. The Pantheon's most notable feature is its enormous dome, which is still the largest unsupported concrete dome in the world. The interior of the Pantheon is equally impressive, with intricate marble floors, ornate carvings, and beautiful artwork. Admission to the Pantheon is free, and visitors can explore the interior of the building at their own pace. Be aware that the Pantheon can get crowded, especially during peak tourist season, so plan to arrive early in the morning or later in the afternoon to avoid the crowds. Remember to dress modestly, as the Pantheon is still an active church. The Roman Forum was once the political and commercial center of ancient Rome, and today is a sprawling archaeological site that provides a glimpse into the city's rich history. Visitors to the Forum can explore ruins of temples, government buildings, and public squares, and learn about the daily life of ancient Romans. Highlights of the Forum include the Temple of Saturn, the Arch of Titus, and the House of the Vestal Virgins. The Roman Forum is a large and complex site, so consider hiring a guide to help you navigate the ruins and provide historical context. Try to visit the Forum early in the morning or later in the day to avoid the heat and crowds. The Vatican City is a small, independent city-state located within the city of Rome, and home to some of the world's most famous historical landmarks. St. Peter's Basilica, located in the heart of the Vatican, is one of the largest churches in the world, and contains some of the most important artwork in history, including Michelangelo's famous Pieta. The Vatican Museums are also a must-see attraction, containing some of the most important art collections in the world, including the Sistine Chapel and the Raphael Rooms. Visitors to the Vatican City should dress appropriately, with knees and shoulders covered, as it is a holy site. Be prepared for security checks before entering the Vatican Museums and St. Peter's Basilica. To avoid long queues, consider purchasing a Skip the Line ticket in advance. Guided tours can also provide valuable insight into the art and history of the Vatican. The Trevi Fountain is one of Rome's most famous landmarks, and is known for its stunning Baroque architecture and intricate sculptures. Visitors to the fountain can toss a coin into the water, which is said to bring good luck and ensure a return trip to Rome. The Trevi Fountain is also a popular spot for photographers, and is especially beautiful at night when it is lit up with colorful lights. The Trevi Fountain can get very crowded, 
so visit early in the morning or later in the evening to avoid the crowds. Remember to bring small change to toss into the fountain for good luck. Be aware of pickpockets, especially in crowded areas. The Spanish steps are a series of wide, shallow steps that lead up to the Trinidad de Monte Church at the top of a hill in Rome. The steps are a popular spot for tourists and locals alike, and offer stunning views of the city. Visitors to the Spanish steps can relax on the steps and people watch, or explore the nearby shops and restaurants. The Spanish steps are especially beautiful in the spring, when they are decorated with blooming flowers. The Spanish steps are a popular spot for tourists, so be prepared for crowds. Be aware of pickpockets, especially in crowded areas. Consider visiting the steps early in the morning or later in the evening to avoid the crowds. Museums and Galleries Rome is home to a wealth of museums and galleries, showcasing some of the world's most celebrated art and artifacts. From ancient sculptures to Renaissance masterpieces, there is something for everyone in Rome's museum scene. Some of the city's most popular museums and galleries include the Vatican Museums, which house the Sistine Chapel and a vast collection of art and artifacts amassed by the Catholic Church over the centuries. The Capitoline Museums offer a glimpse into ancient Rome, with exhibits ranging from Roman sculpture to artifacts from the imperial era. The Galleria Borghese is a must-see for art lovers, with an impressive collection of Baroque and Renaissance art, including works by Caravaggio, Bernini, and Raphael. Other notable museums and galleries in Rome include the MAXXI Museum of Contemporary Art, the National Roman Museum, the Palazzo Massimo alla Terme, and the Castel Sant'Angelo. Vatican Museums The Vatican Museums are a collection of museums and galleries located within Vatican City. The collection includes over 70,000 works of art, including some of the most famous and recognizable pieces in the world. Highlights include the Sistine Chapel, with its iconic ceiling fresco painted by Michelangelo, the Gallery of Maps, and the Raphael Rooms. The Vatican Museums offer a unique glimpse into the history and art of the Catholic Church, and are a must-see for any visitor to Rome. To make the most of your visit to the Vatican Museums, it is recommended to book your tickets in advance to avoid the long queues. Also, remember to dress appropriately, as there is a strict dress code enforced in the Sistine Chapel. Consider taking a guided tour to fully appreciate the art and history of the museums. Galleria Borghese The Galleria Borghese is housed within the beautiful Borghese Gardens in Rome, and is home to one of the world's most impressive collections of Baroque and Renaissance art. The gallery was founded by Cardinal Scipione Borghese in the 17th century and contains works by some of the most celebrated artists of the era, including Caravaggio, Bernini, and Raphael. The gallery is famous for its stunning sculptures and beautiful frescoes, and offers visitors an immersive experience in the world of Baroque art. The Galleria Borghese is a popular attraction, so it is recommended to book tickets in advance to avoid disappointment. Only a limited number of visitors are allowed in at any one time, so plan your visit carefully. Consider taking a guided tour to fully appreciate the art and history of the gallery. Capitoline Museums the Capitoline Museums are a collection of art and archaeological museums located on Capitoline Hill in Rome. The museum contains a vast collection of ancient Roman artifacts, including sculptures, inscriptions, and artwork, as well as a large collection of medieval and Renaissance art. The Capitoline Museums offer visitors a fascinating insight into the history and art of Rome, and are a must-see for anyone interested in ancient history. The Capitoline Museums are spread across two buildings, so allow plenty of time to explore both. Audio guides are available for hire and can be useful in getting the most out of your visit. Consider taking a guided tour to fully appreciate the art and history of the museums. MAXXI Museum of Contemporary Art The MAXXI Museum of Contemporary Art is a stunning modern museum located in the Flaminio district of Rome. The museum is dedicated to contemporary art and architecture, and contains works by some of the most celebrated artists of the 20th and 21st centuries. The MAXXI offers visitors a chance to explore the cutting edge of modern art and design, and is a must-see for anyone interested in contemporary culture. The MAXXI Museum of Contemporary Art can be overwhelming, so plan your visit carefully. Consider taking a guided tour to fully appreciate the art and design of the museum. The museum also offers workshops and educational programs for children and families. National Museum of Rome The National Museum of Rome is a collection of museums located throughout the city, including the Palazzo Massimo alla Terme, 
the Baths of Diocletian, and the Crypta Balbi. The museum contains a vast collection of ancient Roman artifacts, including sculptures, inscriptions, and artwork, as well as a large collection of medieval and Renaissance art. The National Museum of Rome offers visitors a chance to explore the rich history and culture of Rome, from its earliest days to the modern era. The National Museum of Rome is spread across several locations, so plan your visit carefully. Audio guides are available for hire and can be useful in getting the most out of your visit. Consider taking a guided tour to fully appreciate the history and culture of the museums. Some of the museums have limited opening hours, so check in advance to avoid disappointment. Food and Drink Rome is renowned for its delicious cuisine that has been perfected over centuries. The city is famous for its classic dishes, such as spaghetti carbonara, cacio e pepe, and saltimbocca alla romana, but it also offers a variety of international cuisines. Roman cuisine is simple and flavorful, with fresh ingredients taking center stage. It is based on traditional recipes that have been passed down from generation to generation. From street food to high-end restaurants, Rome has something to offer everyone. The city is also famous for its wine, with the Lazio region producing several excellent varieties. Some of the traditional dishes to try in Rome include Spaghetti Carbonara, one of Rome's most famous dishes, made with pasta, eggs, cheese, and guanciale, cured pork cheek. Cacio e Pepe, a simple but delicious pasta dish made with Pecorino Romano cheese and black pepper. Saltimbocca alla Romana, a dish of veal cutlets topped with prosciutto and sage, cooked in a white wine sauce. Carciofi alla Romana, artichokes cooked with garlic, mint, and olive oil. Pizza al Taglio, also known as, pizza by the slice. This Roman-style pizza is sold in small pieces and comes in a variety of toppings. As for drinks, some of the traditional options include Vino della Casa. House wine is a popular choice in Rome, with many restaurants offering their own locally produced wines. Aperitivo. A pre-dinner drink, often served with small bites such as olives or chips. Limoncello. A traditional Italian lemon liqueur, often served as a digestive after a meal. Espresso. Italy is known for its coffee, and Rome has no shortage of cafes and coffee shops serving up delicious espressos. Bira. While wine is often the drink of choice in Italy, Rome has a thriving craft beer scene, with many local breweries and bars offering a wide range of options. Here are some tips for dining in Rome. Make reservations. Popular restaurants in Rome can fill up quickly, so it's a good idea to make a reservation in advance to ensure you get a table. Eat like a local. Try traditional Roman dishes and ingredients, and avoid touristy places that serve only generic Italian food. Ask for recommendations. Ask locals or your hotel staff for restaurant recommendations. They often know the best hidden gems. Don't rush. In Rome, dining is a leisurely affair, so take your time and enjoy your meal. Beware of tourist traps. Some restaurants near popular tourist sites may not offer the best quality food, so do your research or ask locals for recommendations. Try street food. Rome is famous for its street food, including pizza al taglio, soupli, deep-fried rice balls, and porchetta, slow-roasted pork. Know the difference between a cafe and a restaurant. Cafes in Rome serve coffee and light snacks, while restaurants serve full meals. If you're looking for a meal, make sure you choose a restaurant. Follow dining etiquette. Italians take their dining etiquette seriously so avoid putting cheese on seafood dishes, don't ask for substitutions, and don't drink cappuccino after noon. Carry cash. Some smaller restaurants in Rome may not accept credit cards, so it's always a good idea to carry some cash with you. Enjoy the wine. Italy is known for its wine, so take advantage of the opportunity to try local varieties with your meal. Events and festivals. Rome is home to numerous events and festivals throughout the year celebrating everything from art and music to religion and food. Visitors can experience the city's lively culture and traditions through these events. Some of the most popular events and festivals in Rome include Carnival. In February or March, Rome celebrates Carnival, a festive period leading up to Lent. During this time, the city comes alive with street performances, music, and food. Estate Romana. This summer festival runs from June to September, and features concerts, theatrical performances, and film screenings across the city. Rome Film Festival. This international film festival is held in October each year, and showcases the latest in international cinema. 
Rome Jazz Festival Jazz lovers won't want to miss this annual festival held in November, featuring performances by some of the world's top jazz musicians. Christmas Markets During the holiday season, Rome is home to numerous Christmas markets, offering festive foods, decorations, and gifts. Rome Marathon the Rome Marathon is held in April each year, attracting runners from around the world to participate in the scenic race through the city streets. Holy Week During Holy Week leading up to Easter, Rome hosts numerous religious processions and events, including the Pope's Good Friday Way of the Cross Procession at the Colosseum. Roma Europa Festival This contemporary arts festival features dance, music, theater, and visual arts performances, and is held from September to December. These events and festivals provide visitors with a unique opportunity to experience the culture and traditions of Rome. Rome International Film Festival This annual event, held in October, is one of the most important film festivals in Italy. It brings together international filmmakers, actors, and film enthusiasts for screenings, panel discussions, and other events. The festival features both established and up-and-coming talent from around the world, making it a must-attend event for movie buffs. To make the most of the film festival, it's important to plan ahead and purchase tickets in advance for any films or events that you're interested in. Additionally, be sure to check the festival schedule and map out your itinerary, as many screenings and events take place at different venues throughout the city. Finally, don't forget to leave plenty of time to explore the city and its many other attractions. Estate Romana This summer festival, which runs from June to September, is a celebration of Roman culture and traditions. During the festival, the city comes alive with a variety of cultural events, including concerts, theatrical performances, dance shows, and film screenings. Many of the events are free to attend and take place in some of Rome's most iconic locations, such as the Colosseum, Roman Forum, and Villa Borghese. With so many events taking place during a state Romana, it's a good idea to do some research ahead of time and prioritize the ones that interest you the most. Keep in mind that some events require tickets or reservations, so be sure to plan accordingly. And since many of the events take place outdoors, be sure to wear comfortable shoes and bring sunscreen and water to stay hydrated. Carnevale Romano Held in February or March each year, Carnevale Romano is a lively carnival celebration that dates back to the 19th century. The festival features street performances, music, and food, and is a time for Romans to let loose and have fun before the start of Lent. One of the highlights of Carnevale Romano is the parade that winds through the city streets, featuring colorful floats and costumed participants. To fully experience Carnevale Romano, plan to arrive early and join in the fun by dressing up in a costume or mask. Be prepared for large crowds and lots of noise, as the festival is a lively and boisterous affair. Additionally, be sure to try some of the traditional carnival foods and drinks, such as fritel, fried dough balls, and vin brulee mulled wine. Finally, don't forget to take plenty of photos to remember your festive experience in Rome. These events and festivals are just a small sampling of the many cultural offerings that Rome has to offer. They provide visitors with a unique opportunity to experience the city's vibrant culture and traditions, and to celebrate alongside locals and tourists alike. Religion. Rome is known as the spiritual capital of the world, as it is home to the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church and the residence of the Pope. The city has a rich history of Christianity, dating back to the time of St. Peter and St. Paul, who were martyred in Rome in the 1st century AD. Since then, Rome has played a central role in the development and spread of the Catholic faith, and it continues to be an important destination for pilgrims and visitors from around the world. The city is home to numerous historic churches, including the Basilica di San Pietro, St. Peter's Basilica, the largest church in the world, and the Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore one of the oldest and most important churches in Rome. Additionally, there are many other notable churches, such as the Pantheon, which was originally a pagan temple before being converted to a church, and the Church of San Giovanni in Laterano, which is the official cathedral of Rome. Visitors to Rome can also experience the famous tradition of the papal audience, where the Pope delivers a message and blessing to the faithful gathered in St. Peter's Square. Other important Catholic events in Rome include Holy Week, Easter Sunday Mass, and the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Overall, Roman Catholicism is deeply intertwined with the history and culture of Rome, and visitors to the city can explore this rich tradition through its many churches, landmarks, and religious events. 
The Vatican City is a sovereign city-state and an independent country, located within the boundaries of Rome. It is the smallest country in the world, but it is home to some of the most important religious and cultural landmarks, including St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums. St. Peter's Basilica is the largest church in the world and one of the most significant landmarks in Rome. It was built on the site where St. Peter, one of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus, was buried after his martyrdom in Rome. The Basilica is considered the spiritual center of Catholicism and is the most important church in the Roman Catholic Church. Visitors to St. Peter's Basilica can admire the impressive architecture and decorations, including the famous Michelangelo's Pietà sculpture and Bernini's majestic baldachin. They can also climb up to the top of the dome to enjoy a breathtaking view of the city. The Vatican Museums are another must-see attraction in Rome, and they are home to an extensive collection of art and artifacts from ancient Rome and the Renaissance. Visitors can explore the many galleries and halls, including the famous Sistine Chapel, which features Michelangelo's stunning frescoes on the ceiling. Overall, the Vatican and St. Peter's Basilica are must-visit destinations for anyone interested in the history and culture of Catholicism. The landmarks offer visitors a glimpse into the rich religious heritage of Rome and the world, and they are sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. If you are planning to visit the Vatican, here are some tips to help you make the most of your experience. Book your tickets in advance. The Vatican Museums and St. Peter's Basilica can get extremely busy, especially during peak season. You can do this online or through a tour operator. Dress appropriately. The Vatican is a religious site, and visitors are expected to dress modestly. Avoid wearing shorts, sleeveless shirts, or revealing clothing. Both men and women should cover their shoulders and knees. If you're not dressed appropriately, you may not be allowed to enter. Plan your visit. The Vatican is home to many different attractions, and it can be overwhelming to try to see everything in one day. Before you go, decide which landmarks and exhibitions are most important to you and plan your visit accordingly. Consider taking a guided tour. If you want to learn more about the history and significance of the Vatican, consider taking a guided tour. A knowledgeable guide can provide you with insights and information that you may not discover on your own. Be respectful. The Vatican is a religious site, and visitors are expected to be respectful of the traditions and customs of the Catholic Church. Avoid taking flash photography, touching artifacts, or speaking loudly. Remember that you are visiting a place of worship, and act accordingly. By following these tips, you can ensure that your visit to the Vatican is both enjoyable and respectful. Art and Architecture Rome is famous for its art and architecture, which span centuries and styles. From ancient ruins to Renaissance masterpieces, the city is home to a wealth of artistic treasures that have influenced generations of artists and architects. Some of the most famous examples of Roman art and architecture include the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and the Roman Forum, which showcase the skill and ingenuity of ancient builders and designers. These landmarks have stood the test of time and continue to awe visitors with their grandeur and complexity. In addition to ancient ruins, Rome is also home to some of the most significant works of Renaissance art and architecture. The Vatican, for example, is home to the Sistine Chapel, which features the iconic ceiling painted by Michelangelo, as well as countless other masterpieces by some of the greatest artists of the era. Rome's art and architecture are not limited to the past, however. The city continues to be a hub for contemporary art and design, with numerous galleries and museums showcasing the latest trends and innovations in the field. Whether you are interested in ancient history or contemporary art, Rome offers something for everyone. Its rich artistic heritage has made it one of the most culturally significant cities in the world and continues to inspire and captivate visitors from around the globe. Michelangelo Bonorodi and Gian Lorenzo Bernini are two of the most influential artists in the history of Rome and the world. Both of them contributed to the city's art and architecture in significant ways, leaving behind a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and amaze visitors. Michelangelo was a master of several art forms, including painting, sculpture, and architecture. His most famous work in Rome is the Sistine Chapel ceiling, which he painted over a period of four years. The ceiling features some of the most famous scenes from the Bible, including the creation of Adam and the Last Judgment. In addition to the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo also designed the dome of St. Peter's Basilica, which is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Rome. His use of classical architecture and innovative engineering techniques made the dome an engineering marvel of its time. Gian Lorenzo Bernini was also a master of multiple art forms, 
including sculpture, painting, and architecture. His most famous work in Rome is the Piazza Navona, which is an architectural masterpiece featuring three fountains, including the famous Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi, Fountain of the Four Rivers. Bernini's most significant contribution to the city's architecture, however, is St. Peter's Basilica's Baldacchino, a massive bronze canopy that stands over the high altar. The Baldacchino is one of the most impressive examples of Baroque style, which emphasizes movement, drama, and emotional intensity. The Renaissance style, on the other hand, emphasizes symmetry, proportion, and balance. It was a dominant style in Rome during the 15th and 16th centuries and is reflected in some of the city's most famous landmarks, including St. Peter's Basilica and the Palazzo Farnese. St. Peter's Basilica is a prime example of Renaissance architecture, with its symmetrical design and emphasis on classical elements such as columns and arches. The basilica's façade features a harmonious blend of Renaissance and Baroque styles, with its grand entrance, ornate decoration, and impressive size. Rome's art and architecture are a testament to the city's rich history and cultural heritage. From the masterpieces of Michelangelo and Bernini to the grandeur of St. Peter's Basilica, the city's artistic treasures continue to inspire and amaze visitors from around the world. If you're interested in exploring Rome's art and architecture, here are some tips to make the most out of your visit. Take a guided tour. There are many guided tours available in Rome that can take you to the most significant art and architecture sites. A professional guide can provide valuable insights and context that can enhance your understanding and appreciation of the artworks. Plan ahead. Many of the most famous art and architecture sites in Rome require advanced booking, such as the Vatican Museums or the Borghese Gallery. Visit off the beaten path locations. While famous landmarks like the Colosseum or the Pantheon are undoubtedly impressive, there are many lesser-known sites in Rome that offer unique insights into the city's art and architecture. Research some hidden gems before your trip and add them to your itinerary. Take your time. Rome's art and architecture are incredibly rich and diverse, and it's impossible to see everything in one visit. Take your time to explore at your own pace and savor the experience. Don't rush through the sites, but take the time to appreciate the beauty and history of each artwork and building. Rome is undeniably one of the greatest cities in the world with a rich history, stunning landmarks, world-class museums and galleries, delicious cuisine, exciting events and festivals, and magnificent art and architecture. It is a city that has captivated the hearts and minds of millions of visitors from around the world, and it continues to do so year after year. Whether you are a history buff, a foodie, an art lover, or simply someone who loves to explore new places, Rome has something for everyone. It is a city that will leave a lasting impression on anyone who visits it. Its history, art, architecture, culture, and cuisine all combine to make it a truly unique and unforgettable destination. So, pack your bags, grab your camera, and get ready for an adventure of a lifetime in the eternal city of Rome.